Hi, this is Andy from NNH and I want to show you the maintenance of the Posmatic machine a little bit. Okay, so let's come to the control board of the Posmatic machine. Um, you find some switches here. Um, the red button on the top is the on and off switch. So if the machine is plugged, you can uh, turn on this switch. Um, you see um, the temperature controller is turning on. Um, under the um, main switch, you have a switch you can turn up and down. Um, this one is um, to turn on the vibrator. You find stones in here and um, when you turn it on, you can separate the stones. They crawling up and are singled. Um, with the wheel under this switch, um, you can um, adjust the power of the vibrator. Um, it depends what stones you use, um, how strong you have to adjust here. Um, on the other side, you have a switch. You can turn on and off a cross light. The cross light um, is where the stones are placed on the fabric. Um, under this switch, you have another wheel. And this wheel is for the press time. How long you press the stone on the fabric. Um, zero is um, very fast and you can turn up to about uh, three or four seconds pressing the stone on the fabric. Okay, next let's uh, take a look at the pot. Into your pot you fill in um, the elements you want to work with. With the machine comes a standard pot um, for SS10, SS16 and SS20. Also there come uh, different borders what you have to change for the different sizes. Um, in this example I have um, uh, filled in SS16 stones. If you want to change here to SS10 you only change the border into a black border. If you want to work with SS20 you just change the border into a blue border and then it works. Um, but we also have uh, other pots for example, for SS6 or SS30 stones um, with extra borders. Um, but for more information, uh, just contact our sales team. Um, to change a pot, um, you just have to open um, this cap here. Or if you want to change um, the color of the elements, you do it the same way. You can open it, put away the pot. Um, now you just uh, put out the stones, put new stones in if you want to use the same pot. I want to change, for example, um, the size. So I change also the pot. So I take a silver pot for smaller stones with a black border. So I can uh, work with SS6 stones, for example. I just put it on go um, take a good look that the wheel has space left and right so I adjust the pot exactly into the middle of the wheel take the cap fix it um, take my SS6 stones and fill up the pot again I turn on the vibrator and the stones are crawling up Okay, the next part on the machine is uh, the twisting part. Um, there are three different twisting parts for this machine. Uh, one for SS6 stones, one for SS10, SS16, SS20 stones, and a big one uh, for SS30 and 34 stones. To change this um, twisting part, you have to remove the pot. <clears throat> Take an Allen wrench open this screw here then you can uh, pull out the twisting part um, take another part for um, smaller or bigger elements take it put it on push it to the back um, tie up the screw again And you have a little hole in this twisting part. 
So you have to make sure that this hole is exactly in the middle of the nozzle. If it is in the middle of the nozzle, tight the screw and well done. Um, the next thing is the nozzle from the machine. Um, the nozzle that catches the stone and puts it on the fabric. We have uh, four different types of nozzles um, from small stones to big stones. Um, I show you now how to change the nozzle. Um, first what you have to do, you open this here and pull away the hose. Now um, you take two wrenches, size 10, and open the nozzle here. <clears throat> now we have to push down this arm a little bit. Um, it's uh, pressure on it, so you have to pull it a little bit with uh, a little bit force. So you can put away the nozzle, but uh, leave the nut up there, where it is. Okay. After that, you change the nozzle. Um, the nozzle always comes uh, with the connector. So you take the other nozzle, press again down the arm, and put it on. Then let the arm up. Then you have to take a look um, that there is a space between the twister and the nozzle. Um, you have to take this with your eye, uh, look at the stone size and um, you can see what's about the distance. Um, then you have to try if the distance is too close, you see that the stones are flipping away. If the distance is too far, you see that the stones are not flipping to the nozzle. Uh, in time you get this very fast, you know how to handle this space. If you have this, take the wrenches again, tight up the nozzle, um, take the hose again, push it on the connector and tight it up here. Okay, then try. If the distance is too close, open again, put a little bit back, tight up everything again and then it works. What you also can find on the machine um, are two filters um, uh, for in the vacuum lines. Um, you have a vacuum line at the setting nozzle and one um, is behind for the twisting part. Um, you have to clean these filters from time to time because um, the vacuum sucks in dust, broken stone parts and things like that. Um, but you can uh, uh, look inside the filter and see if it's full. So from time to time just open the filter you can twist it, pull it uh, into two parts. Inside the filter you can uh, find a little uh, filter screen. Clean this with uh, compressed air. Clean this part also. Um, put everything together. And that's it. So you also have, always have a strong uh, vacuum. Another part what you can find on the machine is the foot switch. It's laying on the ground and you uh, press with your foot on it. If you press on it, you can start the sequence of the machine. If you press one time, you press stone by stone. If you uh, let it loose, it stops. If you stay on the switch, you can work continuously. So you press stone by stone by stone. If you lose it, you stop it.